Hello, my name is Neil Cox. I am a solution focused hypnotherapist and this is a series of uh, videos to help you set your mind at ease. Uh, they're designed to be instructional and easy to use at a time that's convenient to you. So um, this specific video is about um, being bothered by unwanted or troublesome thoughts. Um, maybe those thoughts have preyed on your mind and made you feel emotionally or even potentially physically ill at times. But all that can change. And it can change quite soon actually because, not because I say so, not because of any miracle or even this experience, but because you have decided it. You've decided and you are you and you and you alone are in charge of you. Psychologists, doctors, other people working in the field of all these neurological disorders, I think they've long understood that people don't have bad thoughts because they feel bad. But more often it's the other way around, actually, because they constantly think something awful is going to happen. And that generates the uncomfortable emotions and a feeling of general discontent. And that's why I'm going to show you the simplest technique in the world that will allow you to eliminate all those unwanted thoughts once and for all. Now you're going to use thought stopping to gather your own personal anchor to reinforce what you're learning, which will double the effect of what you say to yourself to get rid of those thoughts. I'll explain the technique first and then we'll go through a few examples afterwards. So we can strengthen the knowledge of how to apply it. So whenever a bad thought comes into your mind, I want you to use the middle three fingers, and if you're right-handed, your right hand, to gently slap over the middle three fingers of your left hand and say the word stop. You say stop. This thought is not true. I am not accepting this thought as real. So to enable yourself to believe what you're saying, we will now go through one or two examples of some typical negative thoughts. Okay. Um, so some people think they're bad because they've made a mistake. Something went wrong. Um, perhaps you've experienced an occasion when you said something and immediately afterwards regretted opening your mouth then beat yourself up about it for ages afterwards, maybe. Strangely enough, uh, the more you thought about what you'd said or done, the more strength you gave to those unwanted thoughts, and the stronger they became, the, the worse you felt. And if you took time to, to reflect and held that thought up to the light soon afterwards and saw it for what it was, and perhaps a slip of the tongue or an inadvertent response, so you made a mistake, does that really make you a bad person? If someone else had done or said the same thing, would you punish, punish them as much as you punished yourself? I, I think not. Um, so having quickly evaluated the situation and decided you're not really bad after all, you slap yourself gently on the left hand and if you're right-handed, you're right hand or whatever, it depends what you ate around, you, you're left or right-handed, and think or say the word stop you say, stop. This thought isn't true. I am not accepting this thought as real. Uh, another example is when someone's preparing for a, a test or perhaps waiting the results for a medical exam, uh, examination, or all sorts of things go through your mind and they, what if I fail? What if the result's negative? Is it the end of the world? All sorts of things like that. So you hold those thoughts up to the light, see them for what they really are. If you fail an exam, it's not the end of the world, is it? You just prepare yourself better the next time. If it's a, if it's a medical situation, well, your chance of recovery will be far greater if you approach it with a positive mind. The chance of results of, of your results are probably more than 50-50 in your favour anyway. So you slap yourself gently on your left hand or your right hand, depending on which hand you are dominant, and think or say the word, stop. You simply say, stop. This thought is not true. I am not accepting it as real. And you repeat this if you get another similar thought come into your mind. 
as you learn to examine and evaluate your negative thoughts rapidly and easily and slap the thoughts out of your mind, you find that after just a short while, you can eliminate them instantly by using this six finger technique, thinking or saying the word stop. You say stop. This thought is not true. I'm not accepting this thought as real. And it goes. It really is as easy and as simple as that. And you're going to find yourself using this method to rid yourself of those unwanted thoughts more and more. And the more you use the methods, the more strength you give to a positive outcome. And soon, very soon, you find that not only can you eliminate the negative thoughts easily and rapidly, because they're losing their power over you, they begin to diminish. And you find yourself thinking far more positively, healthy thoughts, which actually make you feel much more happier and calmer and much more confident too, actually. So, those instructions will grow stronger every day you use them. Stronger by the day, stronger by the hour even, even by the minute. So keep on using that technique. And uh, my name is Neil Cox. I'm a solution-focused hypnotherapist, and I'll be glad to see you on the next video. Bye for now.